Hello fans, Black Siger, back in action with the videos of me speaking and you can see my face as I do it. So our topic today is the alleged attack on actor Je Jussie, Jesse, if, if it's actually pronounced Jesse, but it's spelled with a U, Smollett. He claims that on one of the coldest days that Chicago has experienced, basically like ever, apparently, that he was attacked at two in the morning, allegedly by people wearing Trump hats with ski masks on their face. I'm not sure if he actually meant ski mask or balaclava because a ski mask is a knit wool mask that's actually thick. I don't see how he could easily get a hat over that as opposed to a balaclava, which is thin, like the one that I have with the mouth and the eye holes. But anyway, he claims that in this attack that he was, he had bleach poured on him, and they put a noose around his neck. And then also that they called him a derogatory term that they use for black people and a derogatory term that they use for homosexuals. We're going to keep it clean in this video. I'm not going to say those two words, even though I really feel like it, but that's besides the point. He claims that he had a rope put around his neck as if to be lynched. So let's, uh, let's take a look at something that's kind of interesting here, shall we? First off, here is a picture of the actor Jesse Smollett with one Kamala Harris at a Martin Luther King march. Isn't that interesting? Mm, he's he's he apparently knows this person on more than just a uh, you know one-off occasion. Like he's he's not. I don't know how how great of friends he is with this woman, but he knows her uh, on a more personal basis than just having met her once. So Kamala Harris, uh, from this picture you can see, is also friends with our buddy Maxine Waters, the woman that said to make people like me feel like we're not welcome anywhere anymore, uh, which is, that's just, that's just so great for American unity, you know, what a, what a wonderful lady. But anyways, Kamala Harris did something very interesting uh, this year, actually last year at the end of the year. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what she did. If you go to the Congress website, congress.gov, and you look at Senate Bill 3178, the title is Justice for Victims of Lynching Act of 2018, submitted by Kamala Harris, also co-sponsored by Cory Booker. You know, our, our good friend Cory Booker that did that thing in that bathroom with that guy that's not appropriate. But anyways, it says an act. To amend Title 18 United States Code to specify lynching as a deprivation of civil rights and for other purposes, be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled. And the Section 1 short title, the act may be cited as the Justice for Victims of Lynching Act of 2018. I'm not going to read the whole thing because there's just, you know, a bunch of information, but it's trying to include uh, lynchings that are done for reasons of a person's race, sex, uh, sexual orientation, or gender identity. Uh, yeah, basically all, all, all those things or, or, or religion uh, as being a hate crime that's federal, federally prosecutable as opposed to just, you know, being attempted murder under state law, which it currently is because last I checked, lynching people isn't legal, you know? So it's very interesting that... Uh, this was, you know, pushed into the, or, or passed the Senate towards the end of last year, you know, just at the end of the year there in December. And um, what happened just a couple days ago, apparently, allegedly, J Jesse Smollett, he claims that he was attacked in Chicago at two in the morning by two men that allegedly put a noose around his neck. Wow, that's, that's just, that's just so coincidental, man. You know, like how, what are, what are the odds? Let's see what Cory Booker has to say about it. The vicious attack on actor Jesse Smollett was an attempted modern-day lynching. I'm glad he's safe. To those in Congress who don't feel the urgency to pass our anti-lynching bill designating lynching as a federal hate crime, I urge you to pay attention. The Justice for Victims of Lynching Act was introduced in June by Harris, Booker, and Tim Scott, the Senate's three black members. And it applies to lynchings motivated by a victim's actual or perceived religion, national origin, gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability. The bill passed unanimously in the Senate last month 
and has not yet been voted in on in the House. The bill notes that at least 4,742 people, mainly blacks, were reportedly lynched in the U.S. from 1882 to 1968. Now, that's awful. That's terrible. No one should be lynched. No one should be tortured or kidnapped or killed, or, you know, murdered. Bad, bad stuff is bad stuff. Evil is evil. No one's disputing that. But is, isn't it just a little odd that they, you know, get this legislation introduced and passed and, you know, now, oh, what's this? A prominence, not even prominence, uh, an actor, he's allegedly now the victim of a lynching attack. And uh, now Cory Booker's saying, see, see, guys, we need to pass this urgently. It's it, now, now it's even happening in Chicago to, to actors. <laughs> what's that? Ooh, oh, I smell some bullshit. That's what I smell, some bullshit. You know what I think? I think that they are colluding with each other and that this attack was done on purpose. Either Jesse had agreed to it beforehand that people would rough him up a little bit, his medical expenses will be taken care of and all that, and he's doing it for his friends, Kamala Harris and Cory Booker, so that they can get their bill passed. That's what I think is happening here because who in their right mind in Chicago at 2 in the morning, one of the most freezing days on record, is just so happens to be, happens to be walking around with face masks on and MAGA hats over it, carrying allegedly some chemical agents like bleach, and also allegedly carrying a rope to be used as a lynch, and they recognize this guy somehow, and they say, hey, that's that, you know, NF, let's go get that NF. You know, you know what those words are, the N word and the F word. So... This whole thing is just so peculiar that I don't believe it. I think that it's a setup. It is staged. They had him attacked purposely in a manner where he wouldn't be, you know, severely harmed, but he would be injured enough to have to be treated at the hospital for light injuries so that they can use this as a driving force to get their legislation passed. Because look what Cory Booker's saying. Oh, if you don't feel the urgency to pass our anti-lynching bill, uh, I, I urge you to pay attention. You know, look look what's happening now. Yeah, because you guys made it happen so you can get your legislation passed because you are pieces of garbage, pieces of absolute shit. These Democrats are evil beyond all belief. They believe they lie, they lie, they lie. They lied about the COVID and Catholic situation. They lied about so many things. It's ridiculous. I'd have to cite a list. You know, it's like there's there was like four things just this month alone in January that they lied about. Now it's February 1st, but... Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this up and leave it at that because that's all that needs to be said about it. They're passing this legislation. It needs to go through the House. And, oh, just so conveniently, an actor who happens to be black and gay, you know, two of the things that are, you know, trying to uh, be protected under this uh, legislation, he's allegedly attacked in, in freaking Chicago by MAGA guys that said MAGA country. This is MAGA country. With a, with a, with a rope, a, a noose. Yeah. Bullshit. Don't believe these liars. They're full of shit. We're going to find out real soon that they're completely lying. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe, donate to the Patreon, and I'll catch you next time. Black Tiger, peace out.